So here, next point is analog uh, signals, okay? Analog signals, analog signals. So here we have to classify the analog signal. Uh, so first, analog signal having two categories, that is simple uh, analog signal and composite analog sig signal. Simple, okay, simple analog signal and composite, composite analog signal, okay. So under the simple analog signal, uh, means uh, two types of analog signals, uh, may analog simple analog signal and composite, or simple analog under uh, two points are there, uh, that is uh, sine wave, Okay, sine wave and sine wave and cosine wave. Okay, cosine wave. And then under the composite analog signal, okay, it's can there uh, also having uh, some parts. Let's uh, see here. Okay, so in this having like a uh, square, uh, okay, square, then you can say that uh, array complex shapes, triangular, this or our points are there, okay? So let's see first analog signal here. So simple analog signal and composite analog signal. Let's see first the simple analog signal and Composite analog signal. Okay, what is this? So here, this simple and composite analog signal. Simple. Okay, first is the simple. It is an analog signal which cannot be decomposed into simple signals. मतलब ये analog signal जो decompose नहीं होता simple signal में. Okay. So this is the most basic analog signal which can be used as basic building block to build other composite signal. Okay, it is so simple analog signal is a signal which cannot be decomposed into uh, simple signal. So this is the most basic analog signal which can be used as the basic building block. Okay, this simple is a simple one and this simple analog signal is mostly used for building block purpose. Okay. To build the other components, composite signal means जी simple है ये किस ये किस वे के लिए use किया जाता है to use as a basic building block to build other composite signal okay अगर example लिया जाए simple analog signal का तो signals are sine and cosine wave so जैसे कि हमने कहा कि simple analog signal okay so example are sim uh, signals are sine and cosine wave okay so before I just uh, discuss about sine and cosine, let's discuss first composite also. So a composed analog signal is made of multiple sine or cosine waves. This composite has multiple sine or cosine waves of different amplitude add to the subtract from each other. So a composed analog signal is made up of multiple sine or cosine waves of different amplitude added to the subtract from each other. Example of composite analog signal are square wave, triangular wave, okay, pulse and so on. So in sine wave, means what about the simple analog signal? In sine wave, you can see this sine wave. It is the most basic type of, this is an example of simple, okay, analog signal. So this sine wave, it is the most basic type of periodic analog signal. That means it, it is the simple analog signal. So here you can see this graph, represent analog signal, right? So you can see here mathematical expression that is S of T equal to A sine in bracket, 2 pi ft plus theta. Then peak amplitude, uh, that is A. Frequency is nothing but f h equal to 1 of t time. 
वन अपॉन टाइम देन पीरियड इज इक्वल टू टी इक्वल टू वन ऑफ एफ दैट इज वन अपॉन फ्रिक्वेंसी सेकेंड एंड फेज इज नथिंग बट थीटा रेडियस रेडियस सो इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड टाइम पीरियड ओके इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट लेट सी फ्रिक्वेंसी एंड टाइम पीरियड आर रेसिपोकल ऑफ इच अदर ओके Frequency can be defined as rate of change of magnitude with respect to time. Okay, frequency can be defined as C. I'm writing like this. Okay, frequency can be defined as frequency can be defined as the rate of change of a magnitude. Okay, rate of change. change of magnitude okay so frequency can be defined as rate of change of magnitude with respect to time okay with respect to time so frequency and time period is reciprocal of each other Uh, frequency can be defined as the rate of change of magnitude with respect to time. Change of signal magnitude in short time span correspond of high frequency. Change of signal magnitude over a long time span correspond to low frequency. This signal which does not change at all has zero frequency. Example such as uh, such a signal is DC direct current signal. The signal that changes instantaneously has an infinite frequency. Example: delta signal or impulse. So here you can see this phase, right? So phase shift uh, theta equal to zero degree. Expression is that uh, zero phase shift. Okay, this is a zero phase phase shift. Let me express here. Uh, so here s this is a S of t equal to a sine a sine okay S of t is equal to a sine in bracket two let's go to symbol here okay we require This area in this one. Just one minute. Mm hmm. So sine uh, s of t equal to a sine two pi f t. Okay. Two pi f t. so this is about the phase which is a zero phase okay so this is this is, is nothing but is it is a, a zero phase shift is called zero phase shift okay the 90 phase shift is uh, having instead of this Like is only so यहाँ पे जो साइन वेव है उसमें आपको जस्ट फर्स्ट एक्सप्लेन दैट दिस दिस डायग्राम मतलब वॉट इज द फ्रिक्वेंसी फॉर्मूला मैथमेटिक एक्सप्रेशन सपोज दिस लाइक पिक एम्पलीट्यूड इज नथिंग बट ए देन दिस पीरियड एंड फेज ओके रेडियंस सो फ्रिक्वेंसी कैन बी डिफाइन रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मैग्नेट्यू विद रिस्पेक्ट टू टाइम सो यहाँ पे फेज इज कुछ जैसे कि ये जीरो फेज है ओके अब नाइनटी डिग्री फेज दैट इज वन फेज Okay, so one phase ka formula we will see. Okay, uh, copy it. Having some changes, we will do here. Okay, so this phase I will show you now. What happens? Okay, so here you have to write that two uh, f t plus ninety degree. Okay, so this is phase one phase. Okay, 
or uh, this is about one phase and uh, means you can say phase nine yeah you can say this is zero phase and this is nothing but 90 degree phase not one phase it is 90 degree phase okay 90 degree phase then here again copy it and this is a 180 degree phase so here you have to mention first 180 degree so this is a three phase which you have to write in your sign wave okay and then uh, another uh, after this wavelength so wavelength is a another important characteristic of wavelength okay this is also another important characteristic okay so let's see so here wavelength Uh, wavelength is another important characteristic uh, of a uh, signal traveling through a transmission medium. Wavelength rates the frequency of sine wave with the speed of propagation as follow. So here you write, you have write wavelength like W I'm writing here, okay, is equal to propagation speed, okay, propagation, propagation. Wavelength is indicated with the lambda also, okay, propagation. Okay, speed, propagation speed divided by frequency, okay, so this is the formula of wavelength, so if you want to find the wavelength though, so wavelength is uh, defined as a propagation speed in here. Wavelength is defined as the lambda. Uh, I'm writing here W, okay? So propagation speed equal to upon frequency, then is equal to propagation speed. Okay. Propagation speed. Into period. Okay, that is you can say W or wavelength, your lambda equal to C upon F is equal to C into time. Okay, so this is about wavelength. Wavelength is another important characteristic of signal, signal traveling through signal traveling through okay transmission medium. So wavelength relates the frequency of sine waves with the speed of propagation. Uh, as follow the formula of this so wavelength of signal is depend on the medium in data communication the wavelength is used to describe the transmission of light in an optical fiber so it's used to describe the transmission light uh, light in the optical fiber okay so you can say that uh, we can say express that wavelength is the distance traveler by a single or an electromagnetic wave during the time period of one cycle of signal. Wavelength is a distance travel by signal or an electromagnetic wave during the time period of one cycle of signal. In vacuum of speed, light C is a 3 into 10 to 8 meter per second, but it does not remain same in a cable. Hence, the wavelength of the same signal, signal will be in the air and on the cable. So time and uh, domain, time and frequency domain, <laughs> time and frequency domain. Okay. So time and frequency domain. So here, it is possible to display a sig uh, signal in either time, 
डोमेन और फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन सो इट इज पॉसिबल टू डिस्प्ले पॉसिबल टू डिस्प्ले सिग्नल इन टाइम एंड आइदर फ्रीक्वेंसी डोमेन ओके सो टाइम डोमेन टाइम डोमेन डिस्प्ले ऑफ एनोलॉग सिग्नल सो दिस टाइम डोमेन टाइम डोमेन डिस्प्ले द analog signal it is the length of graph of signal magnitude with respect to time that means on the x axis we plot plot the time t and the y axis magnitude is period okay so time domain display tell us about following like shape a time domain is display tell us that is shape of the signal its frequency then type of the signal periodic or non periodic we have discussed about periodic and non periodic in my previous lecture right one cycle period so time domain is used to express the some points like shape of signal uh, means it discuss some with the help of this discuss the some points like shape of signal just for me Okay. Mm. Type of signal. Okay. Type of signal. Then its frequency. then type of the signal okay then one cycle period one cycle period so this point is expressed by a time with time domains but we cannot know anything about what frequency component are present and in what propagation they have been mixed in order to obtain the particular shape of all the signal all the information can be obtained from the line spectrum of signal the phase and frequency cannot be explicitly measured from the time domain flow in case of composite waveform which is composed of multiple sine wave of different ampli uh, amplitude the frequency and phase the time domain flow does not relieve any information about the relationship between amplitude frequency and phase for the various sine wave okay so okay so here frequency domain and uh, display of signal okay so so it is a graph of signal amplitude peak or sometime plotted on y axis with respect to frequency plot on x axis it is also possible to plot a phase uh, with respect to frequency so uh, here you can see frequency Uh, okay uh, and uh, is indicated by f0 and phase is indicated by t0 okay so this is a frequency and this is the amplitude and this is a phase okay so here time domain display frequency domain display so this uh, diagram uh, show a dc direct current signal with amplitude 10 voltage the frequency and phase both will be zero the frequency domain Uh, display of the signal is shown like this okay frequency domain 10 volt display like this frequency time like this okay then uh, in uh, time domain then in your frequency domain display like this okay in this uh, conclusion in this frequency domain we can show two characteristic of signal 
using the using one vertical line which you can see and uh, first is the amplitude right and the second is the frequency so vertical line we can see for amplitude and frequency of the signal we can also uh, show the phase the analog signal based representing frequency domain so composite signal uh, signal and cosine sine and cosine wave are the basic and purest signals but they are not useful in data communication this both cosine and sine is now not used in the data communication to use the sine wave for data communication we have to change one or more of a statistic such as amplitude in accordance with the data to the transmitted but then the sine wave does not remain the simple sine wave instead instead it becomes a composite which is made up of many simple sine wave thus when we change amplitude frequency or phase signal frequency signal it gets transformed into a composite signal then made up of many frequency and so here uh, fundamental of comp uh, just one minute frequency spectrum the frequency domain description of uh, the signal is called frequency domain description of signal okay just uh, frequency domain ka jo description hai of a signal is called the frequency spectrum a square wave is made up of fundamental and odd harmonic third fifth seventh and so on so composite signal and transmission medium the data is generally in the form of pulses and pulse is a composite signal which contains many frequency no doubt p circular shape of pulse is due to the sum of specific frequency at specific amplitude and phase if there is any changes in the amplitude or phase of this frequency uh, component then the shape of the pulse will not remain the same then medium the signal always travel over some medium right from sender to destination the medium can be coaxial cable right can be the coaxial cable or optical fiber and so on the medium does not pass all frequency equally due to its in, um, frequency spectrum frequency spectrum is a nothing but is a description of the signals okay it many pass some frequency and weaken or block the other frequency hence when composite signal is passed over such transmission medium at the receiving end we get the wave having different shape uh, this we can see in this figure to avoid the signal uh, dissociations the medium should pass all the frequency present at the input without any changes but no medium is perfect and so some signal distribution is uh, bound to take place then channel bandwidth the red uh, the range of frequency that contain the information is called as a bandwidth frequency contain the information okay frequency is the range of frequency that contains the information frequency ki range of frequency ki jo information contain karte hai that is called uh, channel bandwidth but the term channel bandwidth is used to describe the range of frequency required to transmit the desired information for example amplitude modulation system amplitude modulation system needs to channel bandwidth of 100 khz to transmit a signal of 15 khz bandwidth but the signal sideband system need only 5 khz channel bandwidth to transmit the same signal all the efforts should be made to reduce the required channel bandwidth to so that we can fit it more number of channel in the same available spectrum bandwidth of the medium also called as a channel bandwidth is defined as a maximum frequency it can allow to pass through it without uh, destroy distorting the shape of signal if the medium has less bandwidth then require that signal distortion will take place so here you can see this figure medium with sending end 
then no signal distortion receiving end is receiving the proper sending end and receiving end so some occur distortion or uh, signal the distorted signal because it's not properly sent and this is the same in uh, analog wave so initial wave that is it is no distorted so digital signal okay uh, so uh, in digital signal let's see Okay. Is there or not this figure? Okay, so this is your digital signals. Okay, so the input data, which is uh, analog to digital. See here, you can say input data, which is analog to digital. And digital signal is a discrete time signal. Okay, this is a we already discussed about this, right? It is a discrete type signal, right? So here, uh, see the digital signal uh, in this a uh, a zero is represent a zero voltage, one by same positive voltage. Okay, digital and uh, signal is zero one zero one. Okay, so here the input data which is either analog or digital can also be represented as uh, what? So this data is uh, represented uh, as a what? Either analog or digital. So when analog and digital is represented as like analog and digital, I, we have already discussed about analog and digital data and signals. So no need to explain this uh, in detail because if you understood about the meaning of analog and digital, data, then you will get this diagram, okay? And if you don't understand this now, then go and check first previous lecture, then you will get this diagram, okay? So. This is about your uh, signals here, right? Then uh, of, uh, here bit rate is there. Yeah, uh, so in bit rate uh, is defined as bit rate. Bit rate, okay. So bit rate is defined as uh, bit rate is defined as a number of uh, bits transmitted or sent in one second. It is expressed in bit per second relation between bit rate and bit interval is like bit rate is equal to one divided by a bit interval bit interval so bit interval is the time of corresponding to one signal zero or one okay bit interval is time or zero or one Yes, so here time corresponding to 0 or 1 is hence it is the bit interval or the bit length. 0 and 1 it is a bit interval, bit length we can say and bit rate is also called as a signaling rate and defined as a number of bits which can be transmitted in the second. Which bits transmit into second that is a bit rate and which indicate 0 and 1 that is we can say the length that is a bit interval. So if the bit duration is uh, bit interval, then bit rate will be one upon TP. The, uh, the formula of bit interval that is a uh, one, just one minute. Okay, the formula of a bit interval is that is capital T and base B, okay. So, here, if relation between bit rate and bit interval is follow, bit rate and bit interval is follow like this. So, here, uh, if bit duration is uh, bit rate, then bit, bit rate will be, bit rate will be 1 upon, bit rate will be 1 upon, TP. this is the formula of your, Bit rate, okay, bit interval. Okay, so this is about the bit rate, uh, and bit rate is also called a signaling rate, and it should be a high possibility. However, will increase in bit rate the bandwidth of the transmission medium channel uh, must be increased in order to ensure that the signal is received without any disorderation. Okay, so this is about your uh, today's lectures point. So next lecture we will discuss some problem regarding uh, so the some, based on the some formulas. Okay.
so uh, next if you see bound or bound right then we will see the one problem okay problem problem then be thread lane transmission of digital signal and so on we will see in my next lecture so to this lecture over here thank you